When you log into Time Chart Project Management software, you will come up with a dashboard. Here you will find your project's portfolio presented, in graphical format for easy understanding of your project status. Select, Project menu on the left side. You will see this screen under the portfolio menu. Now it is blank because we have not yet created any project. So let's create a project. In order to create a project, click on Add Project. Here you have to fill up certain fields, which you can change everything in the Setup option. Give the name of your project. Say Project TR75. Describe your project start and end dates. Say the project will run for 90 days. Select the customer ID. Select location. Project type and calendar. Select how many days you will be working on your project. In some of the project, you might be working for 7 days a week, or it might be 5 or 6 days. Let's say we will be working for 6 days a week. Save your project. Once saved, it will take us to the Gantt Chart tab. You will have a tabular view format, and you will see all your tasks in a tabular format. But, when clicking on this Gantt Chart option, it will show the Gantt Chart view of the task. So now let's create some tasks for this project. We will click on the plus button here, and give your task name, say Civil Purchase, then Task Code. You can also give a specific color to your specific task. Select WBS or Milestone. Wait it will be automatically distributed by the software itself. Plan Date. Say this task will run for 30 days starting from 1st of May. Now, as we have decided to work 6 days in a week, so this task will end on 5th of June leaving a week off. You don't need to change anything in a baseline, so leave as it is. Then save it. So now, you see this is level 0 or L0 and we have created a level under L0, which is L1. Now, let's say we want to create one more task under L0. So click on the plus button that is in line to project TR75, and not under Civil Purchase. Otherwise, it will create a level under L1. Say the task name is Engineering Purchase, give the task code, specify the task color, leave the weight and say this task will also run for 30 days as well. Now, you can plan to start both of your tasks at the same time under L0, or may specify a particular date on which you want to start your second task. Say we will start the engineering purchase after the completion of the civil purchase. And the civil purchase ends on 5th of June. So, we will start our second task form 5th of June. And save your task. So, we have created two tasks under level 0, which are civil purchase and engineering purchase. Now, let's create a level under L1. Say you want to create a task under civil purchase, so click on this plus button that is in line to civil purchase. Say the task name is design, give the task code, give a specific color, leave the wait and suppose this will run for 10 days. And this task will end on 12th of May. Let's create task under level 1. So click on the plus button, say documentation, give the task code, change the color if you want, leave the wait. Give the planned date for this task, say it will run 20 days, and say it will start from 7th of May. And save. As we can see, civil purchase and engineering purchase of the L1 tasks, and design and documentation of the subtasks under civil purchase. Likewise you can create other tasks at the required level. We have tasks plan start dates, duration of the tasks and progress. If you want to add more columns to it, just select from here and select whichever you need to view. Say actual start, actual finish, critical path, etc. You will find almost all the options which you need to successfully manage your project. So this how you can create a project, using time chart project management software.